all right so we're gonna do another video here uh, this one is gonna be on Auschwitz eventually it's gonna be on this thing here uh, that's from the Jewish media it says right there Jewish news and it's about this girl here it goes all the way to as you can see yourself 2014 she's making a, a selfie with some from the past probably if you would go back in time horrific scenery in the background and uh, this about a teenager has provoked outrage on Twitter after posting a selfie she took at Auschwitz along with a smiley face and, st and so on uh, this was taken in 2014 well, I was hospitalized in 2013 Uh, since 2013 I didn't spare anymore anybody or anything from anything from absolutely anything and that's pretty much what they wanted they wanted rage problems and uh, with a daughter Of this man here that I'm about to demonstrate you I happen to find myself thanks to some Americans inside of this Auschwitz the frequent visitor of Auschwitz was always Arnold Schwarzenegger mm. The truth didn't come out about uh, this was her father the truth uh, I think she he's still alive by the way I think he's still alive he was involved in this since 1995 um, hmm It was really interesting, I find this uh, interesting because the girl was not even a little bit crazy, she was not even a little bit excited about uh, having anything to do with, uh, with Auschwitz, that's what's alarming to me, she, she went there to inspect this place to see it for herself because or not because she would admire Nazis or something like that but exactly contrary to this she wanted to experience the sorrow uh, the human suffering in this case not only Jews yeah it was also Pollocks it was a lot of Slovenian people from where I am from my origins that have gone through here so she just wanted to experience uh, had experience with the human suffering she wanted to see the atmosphere surroundings of this place the thing is that I have no idea what exactly happened uh, what I know for is that there was some guy that had like Hispanic face, uh, a little bit beard. Um, there were some Americans from California there. And uh, before she took this selfie, and I'm pretty damn sure that on the other end they had me here next to her 
know, she told me she's going to do this so that I get to know her in the media. That's how this photo happened. They had me around. It didn't just happen so. They harassed, they tortured, they bullied. They wanted to get a maximum feedback from me. For me to be as uh, bizarre as possible in this environment. So, for me to say this, Holocaust became a business. Nazism, just like a Vladimir Putin figure out in Ukraine, became a business. So, it just happened so, after this selfie, and she's a teenager. This is what's more surprising to me. This is a teen. This is a teenager. You know what I'm saying? This is a teenager. How the hell is it possible, a teenager? Uh, the thing is that I refuse to have anything to do with a daughter from Arnold Schwarzenegger. I was not into a teenage girls. This is one of the things. How the hell I found myself here in this place? What exactly happened here? What I'm trying to understand what exactly was the background, what, what exactly were the intentions about this stuff here. The next thing you see is, it was Arnold Schwarzenegger again, who came for a visit to Auschwitz. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Auschwitz not written about it, and I was trying to find here something about him in respect to 2014. It's nothing written about it. I don't say anything Arnold Schwarzenegger was a visitor in Auschwitz. Now the thing about it is Arnold Schwarzenegger was visitor all the time in the Auschwitz. People in Auschwitz, workers and so on, employees, they know that he was a frequent visitor. He was a frequent visitor because to him the Auschwitz itself presented to him a very unique atmosphere. Uh, he alone would go there and spend time um, somehow losing himself in objects, probably going through time, through whatever happened in that horrific place, to use that for movies, for that kind of stuff. He probably was using the, the element to build uh, a static inside of his uh, movies so that he could probably approximate to as much as possible to the real human experience experience Hollywood was using me for very very inhumane stuff uh, totally totally criminal stuff beyond criminal just as Steven Spielberg said I don't want you to die one time I want you to die a million times, and they would record this stuff, the terror, the stuff, the human uh, reaction to all kinds of bullying, crime. Uh, not that Arnold Schwarzenegger would do stuff like this to me. He did some stupid shit, but not really uh, that he would go and do the stuff like this. But in Hollywood, they were using this kind of stuff to do all kinds of um, projects that they, they were really searching for the human reaction, which they obtained literally through MK Ultra torture, sleep deprivation, and then all kinds of stunts. They would involve horror scenarios and so on. So he was a frequent visitor of the Auschwitz. What exactly happened now to this girl here? Well, to Brianna nothing good I suppose to happen in 2020 they had me again there in 2000 that was a September the 4 it's just called love bombing in the beginning they come on strong and that's part of their manipulation and their control tactic to make sure they got you they're This actually gives me a good overview about 
precisely timing in Poland. When did I disappear from Poland? I am going to go over that. See September 4 and I see here October 1st, 2020. And it's what I'm going to check and see that kind of timing. This here, the, the land here in Tennessee, the mother and all that stuff. The whole family was involved in this stuff. They bought this land here in a Tennessee, the land in a Tennessee supposedly. They bought this stuff sometimes like in quite back in time, like even 2000 and um, I don't know, 2013 or something like this. Uh, I got to think a little bit more about this. I got to pay more attention to this. It just, it just doesn't. You know, it just doesn't happen so easily. Uh, but her father, her father I'm thinking about, he had another lady. Uh, he had another lady. Let me see this here. That's where she is from. Uh, so you're talking about, about another lady somewhere. Well, I don't know, man, Lafayette or something like this. Sister, lady, this is a wife. Jesus. This is um, very, very bad stuff. This is a very, very bad self promotion. Very, very bad stuff. I am afraid that the people who, whoever they promised, whatever they promised, uh, there was something about the financing, you know something about the financing that it was something that eventually even that she returned back like twice or something like this that she yeah I know what it was it was something that something had to do with the school uh, and she just happened so that she managed to get to this place like on two occasions maybe even on three occasions I'm not sure and I know that they were bringing me, so this was a Auschwitz in Poland. They were bringing me, bringing me, bringing me there. Uh, and uh, I, I don't actually even know how it all happened. But I know that it was from her school. I remember the people from her school. It was from her school they they went there uh, and she was also with the school I remember the school and she was not there once only I don't know they talked to me also about something that they're not supposed to be and this and that and so on and so forth I really don't know what to make out of this stuff um, this is a very, 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 very bad self-promotion. Um, well, you can you can see here what uh, the thing is. It definitely it really didn't have anything to do with her. So I'm thinking how, what exactly happened here how the hell this came to life what is this this is very very bad stuff very bad stuff I don't know I don't know I I, 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 I gotta go over this stuff I got to um, huh. I got to I gotta get over I, I hope I left her comment too that she will return the comment because I don't I don't understand this is this is a very very, very bad self promotion and it really really didn't have anything to do with her this is not anything that this would have to do with her uh, it was some other people that were behind this stuff that got her into this stuff and 
uh, I don't understand why they got her into this stuff. You know, I they were trying to portray me as an anti-Semite. This was a 2014, 2013. I lost my mind in respect to crime that went on against me. I did go on a rant against Israel, against the Jewish people, and so on. Some, some. Uh, it was nothing other than anger that I bursted in anger, and so I, I don't know exactly really what's going on here. I hope she's going to reply me back so I, that I get to know what's going on here. She, um, I gotta say, yeah, this was like 2012, 2011 here. They, they bought this piece of land in Tennessee. I know it's but I thought it looked different. I thought it looked uh, along the road, actually. They had this for some time, this parcel. Uh, actually, a crime happened to a lot of people that were involved in MK Ultra, And... Uh, I'm thinking that her father liked me a lot uh, and um, I was told actually that he got a lot of enemies because he liked me and another thing is that I I didn't know why the fuck I was on a picture here because it made no sense to me uh, nothing good really went on I didn't want to be on the picture anymore and one time I rated him I don't know what I told him that he is whatever uh, I was actually disrespectful to him uh, in a sense that I didn't want to be on a picture anymore uh, really I was not uh, I was tortured so I had the right to be even disrespectful which is the wrong way for me to explain but the thing is that nobody understood anything about what went on with me it appears to me and this is just very very bad stuff I don't know I think this stuff got a lot to do with uh, somebody from Hollywood I mentioned a little earlier this year I think this might have everything to do with this. Eventually that he even paid some money and stuff like this. That he financed something and stuff like this. So... Polish's government is going to have to be a little bit more earnest about these dealings here in respect to Auschwitz and this is not only you know <clears throat> I need to find out actually what's going on more about this stuff let me see this stuff here I remember the school I remember the professors um I oh, let me see that this is one I'm not gonna let go I am gonna find out about that stuff I do need some answers in respect to this stuff here I don't know how much this have to do even with the Jewish people this stuff this is um uh, this is extremely sketchy for me. Some Twitter users jumped to, to her defense or retort tweeted, Y'all act like the girl took a selfie with a Hitler himself, you see. I need to really, really answer in respect to this question because I'm no Hitler. 
I'm not trying to be Hitler. I don't have anything to do with a Hitler, really. Uh, I was I was appropriate. I was very explanatory in respect to what was done to me. And uh, I also don't think that girl deserves to have her life ruined because of some stupidity, because of some stupid shit. Eventually, for this stuff here, I got reprimanded even by American government officials involved in MKUltra, which one just happened so to be even Joe Biden. So I'm going to need a thorough explanation on it. This girl had as much as with um, Nazism as you have to do with the last year's snow. She got nothing to do with it. She was just, it was a group of people, convinced her, um, she was in Auschwitz on at least three occasions, so which one occasion, or maybe even two occasions, or maybe it was one occasion, and they stay there for longer, or I don't know what, what is going on with it. Uh, it was a lot of young people, it was a lot of young people, um, uh, I believe it was her class there, and they told me, if you're gonna stay this, it's gonna be schizophrenia and stuff like this, so you see, this, these are the problems that I am gonna look into it, what exactly is going on, was there somebody that was trying to say something, pull on me something, so that I would say something, so that they would say, oh, you're mentally ill, or something like this, or is there some somebody trying to denigrate me, you know, with uh, posing with me over there in Auschwitz and stuff like this, observing me make uh, some obscenities, crazy statements and so on. That's a very important stuff to me. This is very bad stuff. We're going to see how bad this stuff really is.